we're going to be outlining the steps involved in producing a wooden jewellery box. Select a piece of wood that's a softwood and use a lead pencil and a square to draw a line as to where you're going to cut your length. Use the drop saw to cut your piece. Without turning it on, firstly get an indication as to whether or not you've lined it up properly by dropping the blade in place with your cut line. to drill a hole so that you can create the mechanism for your lid opening. We're going to use the pedestal drill to drill our hole and you firstly need to indicate where you want your hole to go by just putting an X mark on the lid of your box. Approximately 10 mils in and 10 mils down. And it's really important that you make sure that you don't drill too deep because you don't want a hole at the bottom of the box. So you can pre-select the depth. So we're now going to be cutting the lid of your jewellery box, which is going to be 10 mils deep. You need to make sure when you're using the bandsaw that the dust extractor is turned on. This is the bandsaw fence and this is the box that we're about to cut the lid from and you need to make sure that the fence is set up so that there's a 10 mil depth so that's already pre-selected this here is the bandsaw's guard you need to make sure that the top of the guard is no more than 10 mils above the height of what you're cutting so that you keep your hands far away from what it is that you're cutting for safety you need to make sure you use some push sticks so I'm going to be pushing through what I'm cutting using these two sticks so my hands are away from the piece as much as possible. So we're now going to drill out the hole for your jewellery box where your jewellery will be housed. In order to work out where the centre of your jewellery box is, it's important that you mark it out and then we'll use this force in a bit to cut the hole out using the pedestal drill. So to work out where your centre point is, you need to take into account where your mechanism is going to be. So we need that part of the box cleared. Then I'm going to draw across to work out exactly the centre. So I'm going to be lining up my force in a bit with that bit exactly there. You'll notice that when I was drilling the hole, I was raising and lowering the force in a bit because it was smoking a little bit. So you just need to make sure that you raise, or raise and lower the force in a bit so that it cools down in between to avoid smoke. Always use a dustpan and broom to clean up the area after you've finished. 
So next we're going to use the countersunk drill head to create the hole that the screw is going to sit in. So what you want to do is eventually have your screw in like that and then you will countersink the top so that the head of the screw is hidden and you can plug up the top with a bit of dowel. You need to make sure that you drill deep enough to cover your screw head and to allow enough space for your dowel to fit in the top and also wide enough so that your, the width of your dowel will fit in. So you can see this is a bad example here. If you wish you can shape the lid, it's always best to trace around something so you have a line to sand down to. I'm just going to do one corner. I'm now going to use the disc sander to just sand down the inside of my box and I'll be able to remove the lead pencil marks. To sand down the inside of the lid, it's not a large enough piece to do on the disc sander, so you'll have to do that by hand. I'm now just using a Phillips head screwdriver. to screw the lid to the base. So next you need to put your little bit of dowel that you've cut to size in the hole with some PVA glue. Not too much and just make sure you get right around the edges. Then you need to leave it for a, a good few hours to let it dry. I'm now going to use the disc sander to sand off the excess amount of dowel so that the lid is completely flush. So wrap some sandpaper around a sanding cork and just hand sand your jewellery box so that it feels completely smooth. You can also get into tight corners just by not using the cork. So to finish off your job you need to use some linseed oil and mineral turpentine mixture. You'll use this bottle here and just put a little bit onto a rag and wipe it onto your wood with the grain of the wood all around the box and you can see it brings out the beautiful texture and grain of the wood and will protect it. Make sure you you linseed oil on the inside as well.